because it has been a game changer in our business for our team. And just so you all know, I didn't make it to executive in record time. I mean, I was uh, sitting at, as a director for a couple of years and I was working, I had a bunch of kids, you know, doing all kinds of activities and I was cycling a lot and, you know, growing my team, but I, I just wasn't pushing myself as much as I should have. So uh, I got a phone call from my buddy, Lynn Hagedorn, and she said, Julie, you've got to get to executive. You're, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. And I want to, I want to share that you guys for a couple of reasons. One, um, we should always be doing our best, right? But sometimes as moms, you know, especially our busy parents, uh, everybody else comes first, right? And, and we kind of put our, our goals and our dreams and our desires on the back burner so that we can help our kids achieve theirs, right? So um, that was one thing I needed to kind of have a, a wake up call about. The other was just that I, I needed to set a good example for my team. And so I decided to get to executive after that call and I got there and I haven't looked back. Um, and like I mentioned at NYKO, it took me a couple more years after that to really discover the leader in action formula. And once I discovered it, I realized how much it balances our businesses. So it's not about, you know, just enrolling and it's not about just advancing your people. And it's not about, you know, kind of getting to executive and then maybe falling back and not focusing on that. You've got to focus on all of those key areas. And when you do, your cycles start to grow. And that's what I really realized, right? So when I was starting at first, I came up with a form that you'll now see in your back office under contest and promotions. It's under... Um, the leader in action, you'll see it, there's a worksheet. And that's what we came up with about a year ago. I was just scratching it on paper. I had a couple of my friends, um, you know, one night we were sitting at their house and the husband pulled out his computer and said, I can make this more formal for you. We did it there at their house. Then I brought it back and my husband and I tweaked it a little bit more. And then we brought it to corporate after we had used it successfully for seven or eight months. We brought it to corporate and said, hey, can you make this prettier? Can you put our new colors on? Can you put our new logo on and start using this? Because word kind of got back to corporate that this was working and helping us grow our business. And they wanted to know more about it. So I started doing some trainings for them. But it's made a big, big difference. And I think it can for all of us. And like you mentioned, Angela, it's not about the trip. I mean, it's awesome. It was awesome to go to the to Maui last year, completely paid for by Isagenics. But it wasn't about the trip. It was really about focusing on the right behavior. And when I focused on the right behavior, my business started to grow. Yeah, yeah. Um, a hundred percent. You know, I know right now we brought you on to really talk about the Cayman Islands and the qualifications, but um, I'm, I'm very curious about your 30 second story. Um, did you, be, I heard you speak at NYKO and I was blown away. I mean, you really did a fantastic job and you hit platinum in, in a short time. I mean, for those of you guys that don't know what platinum is, it means that Julie's hit 225 cycles at least three times. She maxed out her business and now gets to reenter in another position. So this is someone who really knows what she's doing. And for her to kind of devise this plan as to how she got here, bring it to corporate and corporate say, let's put it out there because it works. Guys, this is a big deal. She's like giving us the secret sauce for free. So I love it. And thank you for sharing. And I think that's what leaders in isogenics do. They share selflessly because there's a lot of abundance and we want all of us to grow and, and be at the top of our game. Right. And, you know, as we were talking before, it's not about working harder. It's about working smarter. It's about maximizing your time maximizing the compensation plan and really doing it the right way. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Did you come into this for a product experience, for a business? How did you even hear about Isagenics and when did you come on board? So about six and a half years ago, I got a phone call from someone and she said, hey, I think you would really like Isagenics. I know your boys, we had two boys playing two high school sports at the time. They both wanted to play college uh, football and rugby. So they, they were kind of training for that. We wanted to add some lean muscle to them. 
I was an athlete in college. I also coached college athletes and Olympic development athletes for years. And so I was in that fitness and health world. I was actually working at a medical fitness facility, like a, a really nice gym. But we, my job was in marketing to get doctors to refer patients to our gym. And we would work with them. We had diabetics, we had cancer patients. We would work with them. They would work with our dietitians, and then we, I'd hook them up with our exercise specialists. And that's where I was, but I was not interested in starting a business. And it took the person several exposures, giving, you know, bringing it over to me, calling me, texting me several times before I would even take a look. And really it wasn't me that decided to take a look. It was my husband, Chuck. And he is a corporate America guy, a CFO, a chief financial officer. He knows numbers. He was the one that got on the phone with Lynn Hagedorn and said, you know what, we're going to do this. And while I was sleeping, he enrolled us. So he kind of knew that this would be right in my wheelhouse um, and that I would be successful at this way before I knew it, right? But it was just such a good fit for our family from a product standpoint. Um, and really the perfect fit for me because I've always been into health and wellness and I could only affect change within a three or four or five mile radius with the people that I was working with. But with Isogenics, I can affect people's health worldwide from my smartphone or from my, my iPad or computer. And I love that you guys, it's so fun that we can use our phones in the busy days as a mom of four kids for me you know dropping somebody off the baseball sitting in the parking lot for a minute and and typing out a text to someone or getting on the phone with them and that's basically how i did it um but like i said i learned along the way i mean you know i was really what they say ignorance on fire i didn't know everything i needed to know about the products i just knew they were good enough for my family and i was pretty picky about what we would consume as a family and um, I, I knew enough about that, and I knew enough about how athletes could, you know, get to peak performance if they fueled their bodies well. I knew enough about that, but I didn't know all the details. So if you're here tonight and you don't know all the details or you're new, don't worry about knowing all the details. Just go with it. Share your passion for the products because they're amazing. And that's how I basically got started. I started sharing it with people. They trusted me because they knew that I wouldn't use anything that wasn't good. And people just started calling me and I just started building. Um, I talked to a few people about the business, but most of mine was just product driven. And uh, I realized that after, like I said, a couple of years, I really needed to, to reach out to people about the business side, right? Because I was making money as a side hustle to my job and my, my life as a mom of four. So I think that's important to know. Just don't, don't think you have to know everything, but it's just focusing on the right behavior, the basics of the business um, that matter the most. And that's why I love, love, love the leader in action formula and really tracking it. So there's a difference between knowing something and doing something, right? So I really didn't know about the leader in action formula and I knew some of it, but when I saw it on paper, and I've got it right in front of me, right, you know, right here, I've got a folder, Leader in Action, and every month for the last year, I have a piece of paper. Month one, month two, month three. Um, we are in the last, we're in the end of the second week of the four weeks to the last of this uh, Leader in Action for the Bahamas, right? So we are in month 12. But, uh, <clears throat> What's cool is it kind of coincides with the Cayman trip that we're taking. Um, and so this is really month two of that trip. And if I can share my screen and you can ask questions, Angela, while I do that, I'll share your screen if that's cool. Yeah. So let's talk about it because you and I spoke about this and you were like, you know what? It took me four years into my business to figure it out. So if you guys are here a year or four years and you're just hearing this now for the first time, it's not too late to implement it, tweak things around and really go for it. Because four years into her business, I mean, she's just experienced this massive growth in the past year and a half. So picture if you start this today, where your business could propel you in a year from now. 
right? So don't beat yourself up too bad and say, oh, I haven't been doing this. Let's just take out a pen and learn this stuff together. Yeah, so I'm gonna be drawing on my screen here. So um, this is the, the leader in action, basically the layout of this, right? Yeah. So the normal leader in action is measured by your weeks at executive or higher, so executive and platinum. For the Bahamas trip, for example, they only track it for executives, paid as executives can earn this trip. So if you began the month of it at executive um, and you maintain it every week, you're either gonna get four or five points. So we go by the four, four, five calendar. So if it's a four week period, like it is right now, we're at the end of week two of a four week period, the maximum I can get as an executive is four points because I get one point per week that I maintain executive. But the Grand Adventure Challenge right here, it's a modified version. You can maintain your current rank of manager or above each week to earn the points toward the Grand Adventure Challenge. The thing is you have to be a paid as manager for the entire week to get that point each week. So let's say you're a manager for Monday and Tuesday, but you drop back to consultant for a couple of days, but then you get back the next week. You don't get a point there for that week. You're only gonna get a point for the weeks that you maintain your rank. So I'll draw it out on a form right here in a minute. Um, you, you would get a zero for that week that you didn't maintain the full week, but maybe the next week you maintain that manager rank or director or executive, you get one point when you do that. Julie, All right? this is huge, huge, because now this opens up this contest, not just to people who are executive, but to every single person who has helped two people find two people on our team. We have so many managers. So as long as you hold steady at manager or rank advance above, you're going to get that point every week. It is really easy to play in this contest. It's awesome. And if you were at NYKO and saw my training there, we actually did two examples. Uh, one was an executive who was cycling 50 times a week. And one was a manager who was cycling three times a week on average. The manager at the end of it got more points than the executive. And I'll draw that out in a second. The number two thing is the number of personal enrollments. So normally, you guys, it's five enrollments for the month in the normal leader in action formula. But for the Grand Adventure Challenge, the modification is you can get 10 points there. So again, the people that are right now in the leader in action for the Bahamas, they can enroll 10, but they're only going to get five points there. But for the Grand Adventure Challenge, they can get 10 points. So if you enroll eight, you get eight points. If you enroll four people, you get four points. What you don't want to do is ever get a zero in any of these areas at the end of the period, and I'll draw that out in a second. The next area is the personally enrolled rank advancements. This is the same for the normal leader in action as it is for the Grand Adventure Challenge. You get one point if you advance a consultant who is personally enrolled to you, two points for manager, three for director, and four for executive. The executives who advance somebody in stars, let's say I have an executive who is a two star and I help her promote to three star golden circle, I get four points for that. The executives uh, who advance in stars get four points. Silver circle, so if I have a manager who gets to one star silver circle, silver circle, she's, I'm gonna get two points for her. She's gotta be direct to me though. All of these people have to be direct. And then golden circle advancements, um, Four points. So if I advance somebody to platinum, which would be awesome, then I would get four points for advancing them to platinum. And then the final one is personal cycle growth. Now, this is the thing, you guys, that is a little bit harder to control than the other three, right? So basically, if you are advancing your people, if you are enrolling a good amount of people, if you are maintaining your rank, those are all really helpful so that when you are trying to grow your cycle benchmark, you can do that. All right. Do you have any questions on that, Angela? Oh, yes. I have so many questions. <laughs> now, um, let me pull out my questions. Are, is the re-entry and the initial position combined? 
Yes. So if you have someone, for example, I opened my new reentry center in October, I think. So what they do is uh, if I enroll in my new center and maybe I decide I'm going to enroll in my other center, those enrollments would be combined and added up. So they combine the two centers to add um, points for your leader in action. Those are combined. If I, let's say I cycle 50 times in my new center and 250 in my old center, that would give me 300 cycles, whatever my benchmark is. And by the way, you can find your benchmark two ways. The first way is to go into the two star and above leadership pools, even if you're a manager, director, or not even a paid as executive, you can go in the two star uh, executive pools and find your 13 week benchmark in there. But you can also find it in the contests and promotions under the Grand Adventure Challenge. All right, you can find it in there or go into your back office log into the reports, look for your Grand Adventure Challenge under the Reports tab, and you can see your benchmark in there. Now, there has been a discrepancy with a lot of people. That it might be a one-point discrepancy. So what I'm telling my team is to go with the higher one. Make the higher one your benchmark so that you push yourself a little bit more. Okay, got it. So a few more questions. Is it, it goes by the 13 week. So yes. where does the four, four, and five come into play? If the benchmark is a number of 13 weeks, when is it important to see that weekly calendar? So the weekly calendar is also, you can go to FYI.com and look, um, I say FYI.com and look under there, or Google um, leader in action or executive pool calendar. It's back in your back office as well but you can Google it if that's easier for you to find. But we go by the 445 calendar. So January, uh, I think it's December 31st through January 27th was a four week period. And then January 28th through February 24th, yes, is a four week. The next one will start February 25th and that will be a five week period. So it goes four weeks, four weeks, five weeks. Okay. So it's important to know the, how many weeks for you to get the enrollments, get the rank advancements, uh, and, and really maintain your position at manager higher. But what about the personal growth? Does that change every week? So let's say your cycle benchmark is 10. Actually, let me, um, let me clear this. Yes. And go off of this and I'm going to go to my next picture. Great. So let's just do a scenario here and I'm going to draw with my pen again, um, might be a little sloppy, but let's say that you're in this week right now and it started on, let me get my dates out again so I don't mess you up, January 28th and it goes through February 24th. This is a four week period that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's say your cycle benchmark is eight. And let's say the first week, which ended on February 3rd, let's say that first, <clears throat> first week you cycled nine times. So that's one above your benchmark. So we're gonna give you a plus one for that week, right? Let's say you enrolled two people. So we're gonna give you two points. And let's say you, your, you maintained your rank at director. Let's just say this is director. The whole week you are a paid as director, we're gonna give you one point there. Or, or, or maintain manager or executive, whatever. You get a point for maintaining anything manager or above. So if you have an executive who fell back all the way back to manager, but she's maintaining manager, if she maintains it for the full week, she gets a point, even though she's an executive not a paid as executive. They're right. giving a point here. So she's maintained it for a week. She's enrolled two people. Let's say she didn't advance anybody this week. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna you know, go on to the second week. We're in the, the second week here. Let's say she maintained her rank at manager, okay? 
let's say she has no enrollments this week. She advanced one person to consult, and we're going to give her one point, and she grew her cycles by two. All right. Then let's say the next week, she does not maintain her rank at manager. She gets a zero there. Let's say she did not enroll anybody. She did not advance anybody and she did not grow her cycle. So let's say she ended up with eight. We're gonna give her a zero, okay? Because she just hit her benchmark. She doesn't get one positive one or a negative one. The next week, let's say she, you know, uh, does not maintain her rank here. Um, she has one enrollment that week, right? And then her personally enrolled rank advancements, let's say she advances another person to consultant and she goes down one in her, her cycle. So let's say she only hits seven. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take one away. So then at the end, you guys, you're going to add this up. So we're going to go down this way. So she's, she's, um, maintained her rank two times. Two, two times, times, right? Yeah. She's had three enrollments, so we're gonna give her a three there. Three She's got two points for at rank advancing her people. And then we're gonna go one plus two minus one is two, right? Yep. So we're gonna take two times three times two times two, and that's twenty-four, right? <laughs> Did I do that? Six times two is 12. Yes. Times two is 20. You're a, I'm going to put it up here because your cute little face is right there where it should be under total score. So this manager scored 24 points. Here's the cool thing, you guys. She didn't zero out, which is awesome. And so she's going to get 24 points for the grand uh, challenge, right? And they're gonna take the top 150, I think, to that trip. So just because maybe you didn't have a good first month, like I got a zero the first month because I was below my cycle benchmark. I'm just gonna, I didn't get any points, but I did get the, the Cougar Challenge. So I started out with 5,000 points, which is great. So this month, obviously my goal is to not get a zero. So when I say you can't control everything, it's harder to control your personal cycle growth because that's really what your team is doing. But when you focus on, you know, getting your rank advancements, enrolling people, staying at your current rank, you can control those a little bit easier, right? Yes. Now, the, the cool thing is, and I'm gonna clear this and then start over. The cool thing is you can, so we know what we can control and we know that this personal cycle growth is a little bit harder to control, right? But here's the cool thing. There are two areas that are capped, at a certain number, you can only go a certain number in two areas that aren't. So we know your number of weeks at your current rank is capped either at four or five. So the maximum you can get here is five if it's a five week period. Your number of enrollments normally are capped at five, but if for this contest, you can get up to 10. So if you enroll 20 people, you're only gonna get 10 points. It's capped, okay? So the first two are capped. The last two are not. So personally enrolled rank advancements, you can have as many points there as you want, which is awesome. And then your personal cycle growth plus or minus is not capped either. So that's fun that you can blow it out one week in cycles, going over your cycle benchmark and you can blow out your rank advancements. We have a girl on our team last week, she's direct to me. She advanced two executives and one consultant. So she already has nine points down there. Wow. That's a really good multiplier, right? That's a whole lot better than just promoting one consultant. Yes. So yes. Why, what does this tell us? It tells us that if you focus on the right behavior, not only could you earn a trip, forget about the trip, it's going to grow your business because you're not just focused on enrolling a ton of people and not developing them. It's really important when you enroll somebody that first they have a great product experience and second, that they actually help, or that you actually help people get to the next level. You have to have enough time to do that. If you're a sponsor monster and, and, and are enrolling 40 people a month, I mean, that's awesome, but there's no way you have time to develop leaders. And that takes time, right? You gotta have time to spend with people and show them the next level and how to get there and then support them in doing that. Yeah. 
So I, I'm in the same position as you where I got 5,000 points for the um, Coover promo uh, for enrolling, I think it was 15th during a certain yeah. time frame. But then um, this past month, I enrolled eight people and had two advancements, and yet I had zero points in the challenge. And I yeah. didn't know why that was, and that's because from what I understand now because of this valuable lesson, is because your personal benchmark trumps all. It does. Well, yeah. all of them trump all. So let's just say, and I'll clear this and do whatever. Let's just say, Angela, that you um, maintain your rank in executive for four weeks. We'll put a four there. And, or, or whatever, maintain manager for four weeks. Let's say you have 10 enrollments, which is awesome, right? Let's say you go over your cycle benchmark by 40 but you don't advance anybody. That's a big fat zero. And we know when you multiply anything times zero, that's a big fat zero. Mm. So you can be killing it over your cycle benchmark. You can be killing it with enrollments, but if you don't advance someone, just one person to consultant, you have a multiplier of zero instead of one. Yeah. It, you know what, Julie, I, I like it and it makes sense to me because you don't have to be exceptionally good at everything, but you have to do a little something of, of, of all of these things. And so anyone who's manager and above, stay there. Don't feel pressured to get to executive tomorrow. You have until October to do that. Just don't dip below that, that manager. And if you're not a manager yet, guys, that's a great goal. Help, you know, ask your two friends to help you find two. Um, personal enrollments, I like what you're saying. You know, they give you points for 10, but not more. So it's, you know, definitely be busy doing the enrolling because you said when you started doing this, you kind of held a mirror to your face and you were like, okay, I am not enrolling enough people as I should. But for someone like me, who's a, a big enroller, it tells me, slow down long enough to work with your people. Teach them this, yeah. plug them in and rank advance them. Help people grow. It is, I mean, you guys on the back of my form every month, you know, I've got my leader in action form here in my hand. On the back of it, I write down people that I want to enroll and people that I want to advance. Yes. If I don't advance somebody on that list for last month, then they go on my list for the next month. And, and I, I really jump into their back office with them. I, I spend time with them. I go through and say, who could rank advanced a consultant for you? What would it mean to them? Do you have a customer who's been ordering faithfully every month? And if you get them to consult and they'll cycle six times, let's show them what it would mean to them. So they're more apt to get you know, a little more motivated to get to consult and then share it with a couple of people. Yes. So I am constantly digging into my back office with people and looking at who could rank advance. And, and this formula made me focus on that even more. Like I've always been into coaching my team. I love my team. It's the coaching me, you know, being a soccer coach for all those years. I love pointing out skills that they needed to work on as players and then helping them work on those during the week of practice and then watching them master that skill for the games. I love that. So I just applied that same principle to my business. I wanna see who's going for director. Right now my daughter-in-law is going for director and we wanna get her to crystal director. And our date is March 10th. That's the crystal director deadline, right? But I told her last week, I wanna get her there by the end of February. Yes. I want her to be there before the deadline. I don't want to be pushing it to the last minute, right? So we had lunch the other day. We sat down. We mapped it out. We looked at everybody that she's ever enrolled. Who would want to get to a consultant? How could we reach out to them? What is the verbiage used to reach out to them? What do we want to entice them with? You know, things like that. And it takes time to do that. If you guys do that, you're going to grow your business. Forget about the trip. I mean, the trips are awesome. but the whole point of doing this business is to help lift other people up That's right. and to help grow your business long term. I'm not interested in being a flash in the pan, you know, I did this overnight kind of girl. I want a long term business that builds long term residual income for our family. Yeah.
Yeah, and it's important, and that's why I stress to everyone that if this is not a formula that you've ever seen before, if this is not something you've ever done before, it doesn't, uh, no big deal. You know, you start today. Julie didn't figure this out four years into her business, and that's huge because when she did start using it, her business really did propel her really to the, to the highest rank advancement. Um, so it, it's important to start this plan now. And, you know, I watched that Lynn Hagdorn video, the compensation plan video, uh, probably a hundred times until it clicked in, you know, ACMDE, follow the tracks to run on, right? That's a great way to get yourself to executive. This is a great way to build your business stable long term and 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 for the long run for the long haul right you know we want to lay strong a strong foundation so this doesn't even <laughs> topple over and so this is a great formula i'm gonna put up uh, the calendar uh i'm gonna watch this video over and over and over until it begins to make sense because it's still a little foreign to me the weeks the benchmark all this stuff but uh it's definitely something that i i feel that as a serious builder you've got to learn it you've got to get people paid your your coach said to me you know you can't be stingy you can't enroll past three star it's just it's not going to happen you've got to get people on your team paid and that's what this is all about absolutely and you guys again I, I will say this one more time or maybe i haven't said it tonight but this is about balancing your business this is about you know getting a strong foundation we talked about that but it's really it helps you balance your business so that you're not just a massive enroller who never promotes you're not just somebody who promotes but never enrolls it makes you focus on the right behavior every single day like i'm looking at my sheet right now i've got numbers in every category so i will not zero out but i'm thinking oh my gosh i could have so much more in rank advancement points and so many more uh enrollment points so what am i going to focus on the next two weeks those two areas yeah and when i do that my cycle will grow and i'll grow my business and it'll be stronger so i hope this helps I know that there's, you know, there's a lot of confusion in the field about this, but we've got a lot of videos out there now that kind of help break it down and hopefully this will help even more as well. I have to be honest with you that it's not that confusing if you print it out and you simply follow it. It's, it's a little new, it's a little foreign because my whole life I was just, you know, my whole isogenics business was just enroll, enroll, enroll. But if, if I may just show people how to get these documents, how to find it. So I'm gonna do share screen on my end. Uh, I, I pulled this up here. So under contests and promotions right here, you will find the Grand Adventure Challenge. This is the actual website with the rules and everything you need to know about earning this trip as well as growing your business. This is your report, your numbers. And so every month they update or every week they update, Julie, and they show you where, where you are. Um, but we, we do wanna show you this flyer. This flyer was created and customized by Julie Jurovich, and I think it's huge for the company to see this document and say, wow, this makes sense. I am going to print one for every day of the week, and I encourage for every week of the, of the year, and I would encourage you guys to do this as well. So I found it very, very simply right here, leader in action view the worksheet, view the flyer. And I just want to show you guys where to find the weeks, the weeks of executive or, or, or the, the weeks of the month, because I think that's important. Where would that be, Julie? So if you look at the view two star pool and pool flyer, view two star and pool flyer, it should be in there. Okay. Um, let's see, if you scroll down, it should have the dates, there wow. they are. Wonderful. Yep. So here are the dates. So we've got four weeks from January 28th to February 24th. So we're going to put those weeks on our leader in action flyer and mark each 
calendar week. And then to find our benchmark, you said we go, where do we? So you're gonna to go to view reports. View and reports. You, and you just need to print that form out once a month. Okay. So once a month, cause you're gonna be filling in, it'll have four or five weeks there. But you go under two star executive leadership pool and that will have your, um, would I search the current month or the previous month to get my? You're going to, you're going to search the current month because that's going to show you where your, what your benchmark is. And even if someone is not a two star, it will still show their rank. Exactly. exactly. Let's say, well, they could be a consultant, director, or manager. It'll show their 13 week benchmark. You see that all the, the numbers are listed there, one through 13. So yeah. that'll be the, the benchmark will be listed in there. And, you know, in this case, this is a, a benchmark of four cycles. So that, that person will want to get five or more every week. Or, you know, if they get four one week, that's awesome. If they get three one week, they'll take a minus one. But if they get six one week, they'll add a plus two. So it just, it doesn't matter what happens every week. But at the end, you don't want to get a zero in any of those four columns at the end of your four weeks. So very simple. You go here, two star yeah. current month, you see what your benchmark is, and then it is your job to beat that number. So it's basically the average of your 14 weeks. You're going to go in there and you're going to plug in that number four. Then you're going to um, print out this worksheet, and then you're simply going to put here the number four. And exactly. so all you want to do is how many weeks, or how many, if you're, if you stay at manager or above, you give yourself one point. How many enrollments? Let's say you have one, one point. You make a consultant, one point. And if you stayed at four, just even, you broke even. If you hit five, boom, you give yourself plus one. And so this is the tracker that's going to track your business, but also help you win this trip to top achievers, to Cayman Islands, to what everything, every trip I've earned is by virtually doing this. And even though I didn't know I was doing it, I was doing it. Now I can actually track it and, and, you know, run my business like a professional. So you mentioned um, something very crucial and I want the people on the team to know that it is easier for you to win this trip if you are cycling five times a week and at manager, then it may be for somebody who's cycling a hundred times a week and is an executive. So can you explain to us why that is and, and give them hope? I would rather see a hundred managers on this trip than 20 platinums because they are the ones that really want this and need this and are working hard at it. Yeah, I, when I said it in my KO, and I'll say it tonight, it levels the playing field for you guys. Yes. So you, a manager on this call tonight, or a new consultant who is just jumping on, could actually earn the trip before I did as an eight star. So that's really cool, you guys. I mean, that it levels the playing field so that it's fair for everyone. Because if you maintain your rank as manager, you get a point. If I, I'm, I always maintain executive. I always do. And I, I, I get a point. So I'm not getting any more points than the manager who's maintaining manager, right? That's leveling the playing field. If I enroll five and the manager enrolls five, guess what? We both get five points. If I rank advance three people to consultant and the manager rank advances four people to consultant, she's going to get more points than me. And then same with cycle benchmark. My benchmark might be 250 cycles. And if I only go to 251 and the average of those four weeks, I get a plus one in that area. That's a multiplier of one. Let's say the manager's, you know, cycling four times a week and she gets a plus three and I get a plus one. She's going to have a higher multiplier. She's going to get more points. Boy, George, I've got it. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And it's really exciting for those who really want to earn the trip, who are really motivated by the trip. And I am, I'm motivated. Don't get me wrong, but I'm more motivated to make my team solid and grow my team and my organization and my long-term cycles than I am to go on the trip. Yeah. 
But what I love is that it gives you a goal and it makes you track it. It's so important to track your numbers when you're, I mean, treat it like a business, you guys. Don't treat it like this is a hobby, a part-time. If you really want to earn money with isogenics, you need to treat it like a business and be serious about it. Yeah. How has your life changed, Julie, in the six years that you've been with isogenics? You know, it's just given us more choices, Angela. I mean, we, we went to Europe two years ago for two weeks in the summer, um, had no worry about the cost of it, which was awesome. We went again last summer for two weeks. We have a son that works in Germany. So we were able to spend time with him. We're going to go again this summer because he's, de he's definitely coming back at the end of this summer after working there for three years, his contract is up. So we're going to spend two more weeks in Europe this summer. Uh, we have a son now in Denver who lives there. We get to fly out and see him. For me, it's, it's, we haven't really changed the quality of our life. Um, what we have done as, as far as like more cars or bigger, I mean, I don't care about that. What I care about is spending time with the four sons that I gave birth to and wherever they are, right? It just allows us more freedom and that's pretty darn cool. So whatever it is that jacks you up and, and gets you up in the morning and excites you, that's what you need to focus on. And for me, it's not about jewelry or fancy cars or fancy houses. It's really about time spent with people I love and that experience, more of an experiential type thing. And that's what Isogenics has done for us. And I'm so incredibly grateful. And the fact that I get to help people again, like I mentioned earlier, help people get healthy outside of a five mile radius, which is what I was only able to do my whole life as a coach and as a personal trainer. I love that. And I love helping, you know, stay at home moms who just need to earn $300 extra a month. I mean, it's, you guys, this is an awesome opportunity for everybody. And if they just are open to it um, and, and work, it's not easy. I mean, you have to work it, but it's a brilliant opportunity for people if they're interested. Yeah, I love it. Well, thank you so much. I'm so excited because now I have a game plan. I'm going to print all my notes and now I get to teach it to my team over and over. And it's simple and it's easy and it's duplicatable and it's nothing unreasonable that all of us can't do. I mean, it's, it's that simple. So I'm really excited. I think I got it tonight. I finally understand the formula. <laughs> Well, that's super good. That's, that's great. I'm so glad, but thank you for having me. It was an honor to be with you guys tonight. Thank you so much for being on. I'm so grateful for you. And thank you, Chuck, for saying yes. <laughs> no, he's in the other room. I'll tell him. Yeah, he, he did that while we were sleeping. So that was a good move on his part. <laughs> One he will not be punished for. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. Well, thank have a great you. night, everybody, and go get them. Yes, thank you. All right, bye. Thank you, Julie.